Despite partying with a bunch of celebrities and breaking the NBA's COVID protocols, Adam Silver says LeBron James will not be punished and social media is not happy about it. Here are all the details you need to know. Hi guys, it's Devin Howard. If you want to follow me on Instagram, you can find me there as at Devin Howard. Double check that you've subscribed to the Fumble, tap the bell for notifications, and don't forget to hit the thumbs up button. The Lakers secured the seventh seed ahead of the NBA playoffs, but their welcome into their playoff journey is filled with controversy. LeBron James broke health and safety protocols when he decided to attend a promotional event for a tequila in which he's invested in. There were a ton of celebrities there, including Drake and Michael B. Jordan, and as I'm sure you guys can assume, there was not much social distancing going on. But according to Woj, LeBron James will not be suspended by the league. Attendees at the event had to provide either proof of their COVID vaccination or supply a recent negative COVID test, so they were doing what they could to keep guests safe. According to Woj, the, quote, nature of the event didn't rise to a threat level of virus spread. But of course, fans weren't happy about that because they felt like LeBron was getting preferential treatment. They've seen a number of athletes, including KD, get suspended for violating health and safety protocols, so to them, this just seems like LeBron is getting away with something that nobody else could. People were tweeting things like, Damn, so the rules apply to everyone but LeBron. Got it. BS, but KD gets 7 to 14 days for a false test. And this tweet that says, If it was any other player, they would be suspended. Another tweet that reads, I think that because he's LeBron, he didn't get suspended or put in the protocols. Another person wrote, Rigged, 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 I'm never watching the NBA again. Let Adam Silver bends rules at will. People were clearly upset, but I think there are a couple things at play here. For one, the event did seem pretty safe because they were requiring proof of a negative COVID test or a vaccination, so the risk of spreading the virus does seem very, very low. Two, these other athletes who were suspended due to false positive or potential COVID exposure all dealt with their time out earlier on in the season when COVID restrictions across the country were a lot more strict. Now, things are opening up a bit, and even in the most locked cities like Los Angeles, the restrictions are being lifted and eased, so people I think just feel a little bit more relaxed about coronavirus in general. And three, LeBron is a huge draw for viewers in the NBA, we cannot deny that. The league probably would have lost a ton of money if he was suspended for the first round of the playoffs, so that easily could have motivated their decision to not suspend him. I'm really not trying to justify any of this, I'm really just trying to look at this objectively. I do like LeBron and I'm glad that he's not suspended. Ended, but I think that what we can all agree on is that superstars do tend to get preferential treatment. Sometimes that means they can get away with something that other players can't. That's just how it's always been. Plus, he might have received prior approval before attending the event. I don't think LeBron would want to put his playoff moment at risk, especially after working so hard to secure the seventh seed in the play-in tournament. But what do you guys think about this news? Is the NBA just a little bit more relaxed about their health and safety protocols, or do you think that Adam Silver was bending the rules just to make sure that LeBron can still play in the playoffs? Sound off in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and tap the bell. I'm Devin Howard for The Fumble, and I'll see you guys later.